Greetings everyone, my name is Pavel Termo and today we'll discuss the top news of this day, starting with the upcoming winter season of Ukraine and threats that emerge with it. Winter is coming. German Foreign Minister arrives to Ukraine for the eighth time during full-scale war. Her main message is Germany is supporting Ukraine with humanity in this cruel time of inhuman war and promises $180 million in aid to the energy grid of Ukraine before winter. Many analysts say that this winter will be the hardest in the history of Ukraine and there's danger of nuclear power plants being targeted by Russian strikes. Ukraine has a short-term plan to survive this winter, but to assure energy security in the coming winters, we need to decentralize the energy system. Shortages and shutdowns are inevitable. The question is whether they will be large or little, and this depends on how well the power plants are safeguarded. Air defense is vital, and decentralization must be achieved concurrently. Maxim Timchenko, CEO of Ukraine's energy generation company DTEK, in a comment to Financial Times. Back at the UN General Assembly meeting, Derensky said that Russia destroyed all Ukraine's thermal power plants and damaged all hydroelectric plants in a way to torment Ukrainians ahead of winter. And the risk of nuclear plants being targeted this winter is 100%, Ukrainian president said back then. Russians are planning to damage and hit the infrastructure of NPPs, which accommodate for 60% of all generation in Ukraine, to bring Ukraine into complete darkness and cold this winter. The answer to this – stop Russia from the possibility to produce missiles, drones, and provide Ukraine with air shield to withstand the onslaught. Energy must stop being used as a weapon.